But I want to start with the last comment that you made about your Jewish friends because it caused a lot of uh, yeah, but I conversation. Know. What did you mean when you said that? Um, like when I said that is my one of my Jewish friends told me that like I would she would have divorced her husband. Like it wasn't nothing against Jewish people. I love Jewish people. I feel like J Jewish guys make the best husbands. I have heard you say that. Yeah, no, they do. Do you understand the implication? It's it well, sounds anti-Semitic. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, sorry. I, it it kind of implies, and I, and I know that you didn't mean it that way, but it does imply that Jewish people don't hold the sanctity of marriage in the oh, same regard. Oh, that's not what I meant. Would. Unless there's money involved. I mean, I'm trying to think of a stereotype about Italian people. Like that all Italians are in the mob. It's offensive. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's offensive, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it would be mm -hmm. like me saying, if there was allegations of a mob thing, I would say, oh, well, my Italian friend, just lumping all Italians yeah. in. I, I wouldn't get offended, but, you know, so I, I apologize. Okay. Okay. Elise from Seattle says, Teresa, it looked like you were upset with the gifts Joe bought you for Christmas. If you're broke, what did you expect him to buy? No, I wasn't upset. I was happy. I was kidding about the diamonds. You you said that your kids were going to be happy with one or two things for Christmas, and but it looked like they were showered with gifts. No, I mean, you know, when you start shopping, I mean... They got the Mercedes truck. Gia got an iPod Touch. No, I understand, but you're going through all this financial mishigas yeah, and you're getting you a Mercedes what? truck and an oh, iPad Touch. Hon, it's a Mercedes truck is two hundred dollars. All right. I mean, you know, Gia was asking me for an iPhone. I'm like, you're not getting that. She got an iPod Touch. So boy, she you're really skimping. You huh? really uh... now she does. Yeah, now she does. does. Oh, oh, now she yeah, does. Yeah, but one. for Christmas she wanted an iPod Touch and an iPhone. I oh. said one thing. Oh. Yeah. Boy, you are really cracking the whip. You know, Melissa and Kathy both made comments about you kind of smiling through your pain. Yeah, that was I, that's one of the parts, you know, one, another thing that I didn't like. It's like I'm not smiling through my pain. I, I you know, I'm happy. Who cares about materialistic things? I didn't you know? think it was an insult, actually. I did, yeah, I, thought, I, I, I meant it as a compliment. Oh, that see, I, I couldn't do that myself. Oh, right. I would, see, now it would I, devastate I didn't me like, because I, I would be... You guys were saying, oh, because you no. said I would crawl under... What the did you bed. say? She yeah, was like saying... Very good. They were saying... If I were had articles out all over about my husband, and about bankruptcy. See, I, I took you like, you know, well, you're like knocking on me, you know, knocking me. That's not you know? knocking, it's saying no, that they you were go saying out, you, you go smile, out and you smile. You know, you'll tweet, so you'll say, hey had, guys, I'm on like, a magazine cover when, things. you know what I mean? And it's like, wow, I, I wouldn't do that. And yeah, that's okay. good for you that you can smile. Uh, Rachel from Rockville, Maryland wants to know if your brother tried to help when you declared bankruptcy. No. I didn't, you know, I didn't need his help, so. Well, it, sounds, it sounds like you needed someone's help. Um, I mean, I think Joe, you know, with, got help from his dad and stuff, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Gertie from Memphis said, what's the real story with the auction? I saw all of your belongings on the Internet. How'd you make that go away? Well, someone did come to my house to take pictures of my furniture because they said that we had Picasso paintings, um, like, worth $50,000. So okay. they came By the to way, check. By the way, a Picasso would be worth, like, $50 million. Um, well, all right, so $50 million. Okay. Sorry. See, my husband would never go for a Picasso painting. Well, yeah, I don't That's think he could, difference. with all due respect to Yeah, no, but he, that, you know. They didn't find any Picassos. No, obviously. Right. right, okay. In September of this year, you promised to pay back all of your debt, yes. which is a very strong statement because what you've promised to pay back, I think, is $11 million. It's not really $11 million. I mean, that's you have to the judge. I mean, $8 the, million? Something like that. Okay. And a lot of buildings have been sold. But you would have been uh, absolved of that through bankruptcy, but instead you agreed to pay it. Yes, we're taking, Joe, yeah, we're taking care of it. So your withdrawing yourself from bankruptcy actually saved you both from going to jail, yes? No. No? No. If you had kept going with that and you were found guilty of bankruptcy fraud, you wouldn't have gone to jail? No. No. Okay. No, where'd you get that? But, it, but bankruptcy fraud we, is we a didn't federal do, offense. That's the, Isn't that no. what they were charging you with? No. No. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Wasn't well, it's all public knowledge, right? I mean, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. How long do you have to pay it back? I don't really know exactly, but you know. You you should look into that. Yeah, but I'm gonna. You know, we're both we're very we're not afraid of work, and it it'll get paid. So well, how does he make money now? My husband does also flip homes, like my brother. And um, matter of fact, that's how my brother got into it from seeing my husband do it. And then that's how he started doing it. 
If you say that in front of her brother, he gets very upset. <laughs> but that's, he bought the, his first I just, home from I've my husband. I've seen that said before in front of my husband. And but he, he bought one of he his He pretty first... much lost his mind over that statement. But <laughs> it is what it is. You know, he saw what my husband was doing and then he got into it. No, he just simply bought one off of your husband once. It's not why he got okay, into it. whatever. I mean, I think Richie got into that too from seeing Joe. No, we had our first investment property when we were married the first year. After Teresa, husband. I don't think you want to go there. Yeah. Don't. You should. Don't. We should get don't Richie go there. and Joe here. Absolutely, no problem. And yes. I don't think what, you're going to like what you find out, so I think you should just zip it. Well, I don't want to do that to you. with my husband. Okay, well. No, you should zip it, Kath, because no. don't get involved with Richie and my husband's thing then. You didn't want your husband giving tips to Rich on how to Would get really to that point that, that you were at at the time. And it used to bother you. You used to no, say, he wanted to don't know our Rich, business. Don't tell he Rich what we're doing or how we flip houses or how we make our money because you wanted to be the only one who no, makes money. Okay. And, and that's a fact. Okay, okay. All right, Melissa. Andy, my, so many people came to my husband, like, um, asking him. My husband's willing and always gives everyone, like, whatever they want to know, he gives it to him. Hookups, connections, that's what my husband does. He, you know, and he's, you know, he's proud to do it. So yeah, Joe Judice is the go-to guy for business advice. That's what you're saying, that we would come to Joe Judice for business no, advice? No, I'm not saying that. If anybody asks him as a family member, he voluntarily always gives it, tells everyone. Basically, anything that anyone has ever done good in their life has come from Teresa and Joe. Next. I don't understand what she's doing. Why don't you shut up and listen? I feel like I'm getting dumber as the minutes go on. Back in March, Joe was arrested for allegedly fraudulently obtaining a driver's license, and he was released on $50,000 bail. Um, but if he's convicted, he could face between 18 months and 10 years in prison. Are you worried that he's going to go to prison? Um, yes and no, because and I know he didn't do anything. So You were cleared in the fraud lawsuit mm -hmm. that was brought against you, mm -hmm. and, and your husband was found guilty and was ordered to pay... Two hundred and sixty thousand right. dollars. So that's ongoing. And then no, it's not. He's paid. So he he's paid that. Yes, and that's then, my husband's ex partner. What was he doing with it all this time? They were. It, it was legal. There was legal stuffs going going on between the two of them. No, I know, but did he just put it away? I mean, it, you know what? It's legal matters, and I really can't discuss them. I mean, if you want to know the answer, call my lawyer. Is this this is? Is this the story you understand because you have a quizzical look on your face? No, I'm quizzical. You're quizzical. That's right. Okay. You know, there are some things that are puzzling. You know, I'm not going to spend her money or, or wonder where she gets it. But, you know, when you're in this situation, you sell a business and you owe that money. It's not your money. Okay. I don't really know. Cares I don't know. And I don't this care. is my finances. He's asking me a question. Yeah, I'm but his it's question. like who really so cares? I'm, 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 I'm confused by a lot of it. It just doesn't make. Yeah, I'm confused. It's not about logical the to me. There's not a I logical mean, thing, a lot logical sense to it in a lot of ways, but I'm not versed in their issue. I don't ask, so um, I'm not going. I don't ask. Am I calling you out I don't anything? Pry. I, I, no, I'm just saying I don't pry in your right, business. So don't pry in mine. Relax. I am relaxed. I don't think so. Calm and cool, like a whistle. If that's calm and cool, honey, that's not calm and cool. You are defensive right cool now. Cool like a whistle. No, I'm me, just saying. I he asked me a question. I, said, I am saying I don't want to hear your response right now. That's what I'm plug saying. Plug your ears. So that's what I'm saying. You, plug your ears. Whatever I'm you not have to say about you, doesn't I'm matter ask. to me. Good. Plug she, your ears. She was actually saying she's not getting involved. Well, that's what she should say, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. why don't you shut up and listen, and that's what you you'll hear. Up? Okay? You know what? I, I feel like I'm getting dumber as the minutes go on. Okay? That's what I feel like right now. I am in a whirlwind of stupid. I don't understand what she's doing. It doesn't make sense to me. Nothing makes sense. It doesn't add up. As an intelligent person, it doesn't uh, add only up. Only you are I intelligent, Caroline. Story. So ask the questions. We're going to sit back, and we're all going to plug our ears, and like six, la, 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 everybody, la, 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 and ask the questions. I think you, you should take your own advice. I know. I should. You should. I should take my you own should. advice, and my own advice two years ago was to get you out of my life, and I'm finally taking it.